And for that, I'm going to go to the schedule board. Now, the schedule board can be sliced and diced a bunch of different ways. So I can have the schedule board actually um, specific to a certain product line, specific to a certain region. I may be responsible for some technicians that somebody else isn't, those kinds of things. And you'll see when this comes up, I have the ability to actually um, just look at my schedule board as opposed to having multiple people um, having them mixed up on the schedule board. So you can see I've got a bunch of different tasks and a bunch of different resources on the left hand side. So we've got Brady and David and Edgar and I can see a schedule for each one of those and each one of these tasks, all right, or each one of these work orders, sorry, are in different stages. So right now Brady's traveling to his, um, to do this work. This one he's on break. You can see this different statuses and the colors change as they move them through the, the um, schedule board. You'll also notice down at the bottom I have unscheduled work orders. Okay, so the unscheduled work orders show on the screen here, and I have the ability to just go in and grab this and drag it onto the schedule board. So now, like you can see, this work order has been assigned to David, and he's going to get a notification and go out in the field and start to work on that that work order. Um, I also can do mapping from here if I want to look at my route and things like that. I can um, filter down on the resources. So if I want a certain resource with a certain type of skill set, I can do that from here. I can also tie that directly to the work order itself. So when the work order comes on here, only the resources that are in a certain uh, have a certain skill set or in a certain region, maybe they're the only ones that are allowed to actually work on this work order. In this case, we've assigned it to David. Okay, 